All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Vayashim, Yahweh Shai, Vayashim, Rakah HaKadosh, double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops, great millstone to rule and teach well, and peace and salutation unto the hopeful elect. This is the brother Bakwasha, and I just want to go into a quick, quick lesson going into the times in which we're in and how they're going to intensify. And as they're intensifying, uh, it's just going to be more and more uh, chaotic times. It's going to be upheaval. It's going to be war, rumors of war. There's going to be uh, uh, sedition amongst men. You know, there's going to be civil unrest and it's going to be mad confusion, you know, and that's what uh, Babylon, you know, represents a land of confusion. You know, things that are turned upside down, putting light for darkness and darkness for light. And these things are really going to befall two thirds of our people and these other heathen nations. You know, that's why, you know, Yahweh Shai is our light, you know, our God, you know, through this world of confusion you know, in darkness. And so I just want to start here in the book of second Ezra, the fifth chapter and the eighth verse, it says, there shall be a confusion also in many places and the fire shall be oft sent out again. And the wild beasts shall change their places and mistress women shall bring forth monsters. Okay. So yeah. Hey, as the time of Jacob's trouble approaches the hour of temptation, approaches, you know, and the judgment of Babylon, aka America, you know, there's going to be uh, just like it is right now. You know, you have all these plagues and pestilences uh, all across the cities. You know, you have derailments of trains. You have uh, all types of uh, uh, toxic uh, chemicals in the air. You have fire. You know, you're going to have uh, thermonuclear missiles, you know, uh, hitting America, hitting it and, and tossing it to and fro like a drunkard, you know? So it's gonna be mad confusion. It's gonna be anarchy, all right? I'm gonna jump down to uh, 2 Ezra chapter 16, verse 21. It says, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. So just showing the the intensity and how that great confusion is going to uh, continue to uh, become more prominent. You know, we've seen it. Women thinking that they're men, men uh, taking on the traits of women, you know, animals, dogs, pets. Right. And then also confusing the people by having them believe in a, in a currency. OK, that you can't physically put your hand on, you know. And, and all of this has been constructed from way back when, you know, of Esau literally spoiling the earth and keeping the goods for himself. You know, going back to uh, Klaus, Klaus Schwab uh, talking about how uh, in this fourth industrial revolution, people are going to have nothing and be happy, you know, and, and that's essentially where where confusion comes in into play, you know. In ancient times, man had cattle, man had, um, you know, had, had goats, had sheep, you know, had tangible land, things that he could cultivate and, and provide for himself, things that he could protect to see with his eye, right? Now, all the things that once were um, grounds for ownership, Esau has been able to uh, hoard those riches unto himself, you know, but more, uh, more death more famine, you know, is going to occur as Jacob trouble, you know, becomes more prominent. We already see the inflation of uh, food. We already see the shortages of water. We already see how the the uh, natural land uh, rivers and, and lakes, okay, are being tainted and being polluted. So, yeah, there's, there's going to be more and more confusion. People are going to look for their quote unquote government to give them instruction and their government is just going to lead them right into the valley, you know, of, of death, you know. And so uh, I got one more quick precept and then we'll wrap up. This is. Uh, this 
This is Isaiah chapter 30. Well, actually, we can read uh, 24 too. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 3. It says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Because many people are going to trust in their government. They're going to trust in the radio. They're going to trust in uh, the newscast, right? They're going to they're going to trust in the, in, the, in the media, right? As long as those uh, avenues are up and open. But that that strength of Pharaoh that was once well sought after by all of these other heathen nations, okay? Scripture says it's going to be it's going to be your shame because you're going to realize that the same uh, false god was really just leading people to the slaughter. You know, it says in the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Okay. And, and that confusion in itself is going to leave you paralyzed. It's going to leave you mentally and spiritually paralyzed to where you're not going to know where to go. You're not going to know what to do. That's why wisdom, uh, scripture says, Isaiah, the, the 33rd chapter says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. Okay. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, not the fear of Pharaoh, not trusting in Esau, not trusting in his lies and his sorcery, you know, not trusting in, in his digital currency. Okay. The wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Shemi Shad. Those are the things that are going to be our stability. Okay. And let's read uh, Isaiah 24 and 10. We'll wrap up. It says the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in, you know, and that's really just going to prove that um, as Jacob get Jacob's trouble pops off, just as it was with, with the scan scam demic. Okay. People weren't able to leave their houses. You know, martial law had kicked off literally medical martial law, you know, and people were shut up in their houses going crazy literally and it's only going to be intensified worse you know when the day of the lord comes when when you how by shimei was shy you know brings upon you know uh not only the people judgment but also uh destruction you know and, and bringing about uh th these plagues in which are forewritten in the scripture you know to to prove not only you how by shimei was shy's power and his might but to also prove that this world and this place is wicked, man. And, and the Lord is visiting the earth, you know, to make for sure that as he's visiting these people, that these people fully understand who who the greatest power is, okay, and that he should be feared, okay? So just wanted to go into that real quick. Lord will, it was edifying for the elect. Once again, call law like Yahweh by Shimei Shai, by Shiv Rakai Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom.